Hey guys, what's up? Would you like to see how well the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 performs on a laptop? If you would, stick around. I'm gonna share with you my computer hardware specs along with a really a quick look of what Flight Simulator looks like from page to page and what it has to offer if you are not already familiar with it. This channel is to help highlight the importance of safety within flight adventures and also help support the general aviation community as a whole. But for now, let's dive into this video. Okay, so I know this video is a bit different for me, but I believe that the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 can really help with staying proficient as a pilot. So let's get to it. Okay, as I mentioned in a note prior, the CH products require manual setup. So this is me setting up the last control here from the left aileron. You select start scanning, and then you move the yoke to the left from the left roll, and then hit validate. So this completes the fourth setting that I put in. Again, trying to cut corners just to get flying. Basically, this is the medium settings, standard, that was pre-selected. I kept everything the same, 1080p, medium settings. You'll notice here the four controls that I used, or four inputs that I selected to cut corners. They were not very successful in basically flying the airplane. Um, I thought I could just do that and quickly get flying. Um, but you'll see here, as soon as I am able to take control of this Beechcraft Bonanza, it immediately starts going into a left-hand dive. Um, but keep in mind, though, the graphics here, that's really what we're looking at as far as the ability to run this. So the graphics look amazing. It's keeping up well, and it actually you can really see some really good detail of the water here prior to impact. So this is a quick look. We're gonna go into the world map. And this is a really cool feature because it shows you real time, what time it is or what where it's daylight in what part of the world. And you can zoom in and see some really nice detail and just kind of scroll around just like Google Earth here and see the highly populated cities with the lights. Um, it's really cool because, I mean, it's, it's live. Um, time as far as you know where is the daylight so it's pretty neat i really like that feature i like google earth so that was a cool one for myself and then flight training tab there's several things here you can see takeoff landings navigation traffic pattern work uh, lots of different options there you can go into landing challenges bush trips and then this is the news tab which is some in interesting information that changes periodically and this is the landing challenge that's pretty pretty neat. It's uh, for two weeks. There's a competition going on. You can compete in that. Again, there's the news that changes um, disinformation. Interesting to check out. So the content manager that simply is your updates. You can go there and make sure everything's up to where it needs to be for anything that might new come out. So the hangar is pretty neat. You can see the detail here. It's, it's pretty awesome to be able to have your fleet in a hangar and check that out. There's a logbook and then there's the content here. You can go in and buy new aircraft. There's also airports and landmarks here you'll see in this tab. This is where you to a place to upgrade for the premium or um, anything that's available to purchase. So and then you can create a wish list. There's um, again the landmarks here. There's a man-made. You can purchase that. Um, so that's kind of neat to be able to upgrade. And then this is different assistance things you can do there. And the camera. You can do all kinds of general settings. Again, I'm on the medium, across the board standard. These are the four flight controls that I set up. You can see that's all that's shown. You can see we have 
great visibility over Sedona today. See the interior in and just really see the graphics and details. This is Sedona, Arizona. It's a beautiful place to uh, see some scenery and really check out the graphics. So this is the walkthrough of kind of get your feet wet and um, kind of see some of the key controls, keyboard controls here, and it kind of prompts you as you go through them to utilize those. Again, I'm really imp impressed how well the, uh, the laptop, you know, it's, it is a medium build laptop, um, but you don't have to have a desktop. You can take this simulator mobile, and that's a nice, nice option to have. But you'll see here, when I take over control of the airplane here, I actually don't do anything. These con the controller is so messed up. It actually just takes me imme immediately into a successful loop, which was nice. Uh, but it was just very out of control immediately. So I ended this flight shortly, um, basically spiraled to the ground. So I thought I would try a bush plane. Going to check out the Carbon Cub. Thought maybe I'd have better luck with that. Um, but you'll see here right away, immediately going into flight, I'm in a bank before I can even make an input. Um, so the shortcut here is not good with the manual setup like I did. Uh, but again, look at the quality and just the uh, able to keep up with the graphics here. Again, it was uh, very successful, I think, as far as operating wise. And I overstressed the airplane here. Carbon cubs and cubs in general are not set up too fast, so it's easier to overstress those. Okay, if you got some value out of this video, make sure you hit the like, leave a comment, and if you're interested in some flying of Piper J3 cubs, make sure you subscribe as I have more coming up for that, and check out my previous videos if you wanna see some now. Um, but until next time, be safe and be blessed. I will see you in the next video. Later.